Hello and how are you all doing today? And I am back with another movie review as per usual. And this will be a movie where... At first, I'm going to be quite honest, at first I thought this movie was good. Especially in the first few minutes. And it's also got a ridiculous tie which made me watch it as well, right? I don't know if you ever had this sort of scenario where you see movies and you look at the... You always have to look at the picture first just to see what it's like. And then you look at the name and you see what it's about and you think... Oh, this movie sounds quite good, or it looks quite good, you know. So you watch it and it's like, oh, it's not how I thought it was going to be. Like, that is exactly how I thought in the, with this sort of movie. And even the title is ridiculous too. It's called Sorry About the Demon. I'm not kidding, that's what it's called. And the start of the movie, I thought, you know what, this could be good. This could be quite funny, you know. And, you know, it's a family inside a house, and it was like a mansion type house or something like that. And the family, like, hears um, a little girl screaming. And we see the little girl in the first bit of the movie, first, you know, at the start of it. And she gets possessed by a demon. Obviously, that's, that's of course, so about a demon. And, but at the start of it, was like, uh, the, I think that the boy gets out of the son, like, you know, the girl's brother, basically. He gets a baseball bat. And then, the, what, what, uh, and the dad says, what are you doing? I, I'm, I'm just, I've got the baseball bat ready to attack it. I was like, you're not, even, you're not even good on the team. And I was like, okay, I thought that sort of a gag at the start would be funny. And as it, as after that moment, I was like, okay, let's give this a try. I know it was with me, I always have to watch things through. Every time. If I'm watching a series, I have to watch it the whole way through. Because I'm curious to know what else happens. And... And then um, they, they get this guy, they get this guy a house, because it's basically this guy was going through stuff with his girlfriend, he moved out and stuff like that. I think it was his girlfriend's apartment this, this dude was staying in. And he stayed at this house, and the family had to bribe him to stay in the house, to live there, because the demon wanted to sacrifice. And I don't want to keep going on and on, because I feel like I'd be boring, you know, with the whole story of it. And the acting is quite silly. It's one of the silliest movies I've ever seen. Not the worst movies, but it's very, very silly in terms of how they deliver their lines and how they act it out and the story. It would have been funny if the acting was better and they had more gags. And the jokes and gags was not that funny at all. You know, I've seen movies like that where they made it better. I think mean, scary. I mean, it's a horror comedy, basically. Scary movie is the only type of horror horror comedy that actually does it better because it's re it's, it is very funny. It is absolutely hilarious with the humor. Plus, all the actors are well known and popular. A lot of people know them. With this movie, I don't know anybody at all in that movie. It's very stupid. I know comedy. It has to be sort of like a parody in terms of certain things. I have to do a little skit on certain like scenarios and other movies and comedies and stuff like that. But there's ways to go about. It. I get it took time to make this movie. I understand that like, this movie must have taken two years to make. But it's, you got to make sure it's actually really funny for the audience or the viewers. I'm pretty sure, obviously, they can't make comedy from my standards. So there's people that probably like this sort of movie with this sort of humour. But when I watch it, it's kind of like, have you ever been in a restaurant and you see someone doing something stupid that make a silly noise like a, or a like silly dance move? That's what it feels like when I'm watching these type of comedies. That isn't comedy. That's just being stupid. Don't get stupidness and comedy mixed up. They're both very different things. And it wasn't funny. I looked, I was like, what the hell is this? Like, the the quality of the movie, yeah, it, it can have a good picture, it can have good graphics, it have good quality to the movie, but you got to have everything else of it too. I, I get it takes time, but there's people that probably like this sort of thing. This is what I'm talking about with comedy. The offensive jokes is what makes comedy funnier because it's more hilarious. They add in really dark humour. When you, when you take that, when you take the offensive comedy out, what are you left of? But you're, you're left of practically having to act dumb in order to make it funnier. I, if you're gonna have make it, if you're gonna make people acting stupid, at least make it funny. And I'm pretty sure there's probably friends I know that probably watch this, that would watch this and, and laugh at it. I highly doubt it. This sort of movie is probably one of the most silliest movies I've ever seen. Now, don't doubt there's other movies like this. I, I just had to find it because I felt it looked good at first. I was like, I have to do this sort of, I have to talk about this movie. I have to watch it. Because the title, the title hooked me. Like, it gripped me. If I have to get some rating, I did have one, in, I did have, I was going to say 4 out of 10. Oh, it's, I would say 3 out of 10. Now, I think they're both very similar numbers in terms of how, where they are. 
So I say three out of ten because I had nothing basically. I admit the quality. Okay, people say, oh, but it is we're in that twenty twenty three. There's gonna be good quality movies. Not about old fashioned. Yeah, but I saw that like, movies. I saw that like, Death by VHS, which is pretty decent. That's why, like, what two years ago it was made, two three years ago. Then I saw Black Books, which looked like an old fashioned horror from the eighties or nineties, which wasn't. It was actually recent. So there are movies out there which has an old fashioned feel to it, which doesn't fit in. So you can't really make that as an excuse and a reason. It's all on your own opinion at the end of the day. But I feel like this this could have been done way, way better. And there's a lot of improvements that need to be made in this movie. And yeah, you've got a movie, you could be proud of that. But at least make it, you know, like what it says in the genre. It says horror comedy. That's why I don't watch horror comedies no more. Because they're just, it is really stupid and, and mocking, and trying to mock. These sort of like demons or other other movies because that can happen. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment below, share with everyone you know, subscribe and hit the bell notification below as I see you in my next video.